Video games are part of students' everyday lives, like reading a book and not doing homework. So it's only natural that students would want to create their own. And that's just what's happening at a program at Skyview High School. I'm just going to call it Master Pro because we're going to... Kim Hansen is like almost everyone under the age of 40. I do play video games pretty constantly. Her students are the same way. They signed up in droves for her video game programming class. Well, I've always played video games, wanted to figure out how to program them and just how they work. But what they learn quickly is that it's a lot harder to create a game than it is to play one. No, it's not easy. There's a lot of struggles that go into making video games. They use special software, digital art techniques, a lot of math, and the programming language C++. I just love programming and why not, you know, if you're going to program something, do something interesting with it. It's intense and because students are passionate about gaming, they're locked in. When I walk around, they're on task, they're excited, they tend not to want to leave. More than learning to make fun games, these students are learning skills they can take to any career. Project management, attention to detail, and how to deal with deadlines. You have to really narrow down what you want to do and that's difficult because there's so many things that you can and want to do that have to get cut because you just don't have the time. After they learn the basics, they get to design their own game. And so that final product is kind of a really cool goal to work towards. So it's really cool seeing what they come up with for their custom games. Kim tells me that students that struggle in other classes often don't struggle in hers. It just goes to show that if you give students something that they're passionate about, maybe they'll pursue it. Like Pac-Man being chased by a ghost. For In the Know, I'm Mark Ray.